good evening everyone welcome to this embedded system design master class series i warmly welcome you to the session thanks for coming and thank you for your time i would also like to thank the andhra pradesh state skill development corporation for their support for this program so today is day 21 we have still nine more days to go and today this week we will be covering up the pic architecture pic microcontrollers from microchip company and uh, like today like we will be covering up the introduction to pic architecture like what are the families on pic microcontroller series and what are the pin details on pin descriptions of pic 16f 8 7 7 a we will be covering up pic 16f 8 7 7 a series on this five days workshop on this five days series so uh, like today will be of the introduction part to the pic architecture and tomorrow like we will be covering up the embedded system design using pic microcontroller and how to create a project create a project and download the program on pic microcontroller on day three and day four like we will be covering up the lcd uart and uh, motor control applications on pic microcontroller so the project will be on motor control applications on pic microcontroller so today like we will be covering up the introduction to pic the families of pic and pin details and descriptions and peripherals like what are the peripherals available on the pic microcontroller and the compilers and registers okay. so these are the things which we are going to learn today so let's start the session like uh, we'll start the start with the session with the mindset lesson so today lesson is about uh, life is a mirror life is a mirror you see what you are okay so what you see is like what you think inside like if you see a lot of positive things and outside like you you are positive like if you see a uh, uh, lot of negative things outside then it means you have negative inside okay so you attract what you think all day long so if you think about success you'll get success if you think about failure you will get failure okay so what you think is what you think is really matters so uh, if you if you think everyone is everyone is cheating you it means like you have to change your inner feeling how to change your inner feeling how to put it in a positive way so the first thing is change happens inside first within the change should be happen within then you could see the change on the out, outside world okay so life is a mirror you see what you are this is a lesson which would i'd like to share with you with you today for this series um so uh let's go for the session so what is what is PIC? Okay, PIC stands for Peripheral Interface Controller, and uh, it was uh, coined by Microchip Technology. This architecture, PIC architecture, is a proprietary architecture from Microchip Technology. Like you have eight zero five one core. Core means like it is an architecture. Okay, core uh, is the uh, in the internal architecture is called core. Eight zero five one core, PIC core, ARM core. Okay. So uh, microchip has its own like has its own core like PIC is its own core. It has different fa families on PIC microcontrollers. It has low end range, mid range, and high end range of microcontrollers. I will show you like what is I'll, on the upcoming slides. I will explain you like what is low end range, what is mid range of microcontrollers, and what is high end range of microcontrollers. So PIC stands for Peripheral Interface Controller, and it was from the company called Microchip. So PIC, it has only 35 instruction set. If you, the assembly instruction set is only 35 instruction set. Very small number of instruction set. Uh, like on the previous, on the olden days, like olden days on in 1990s and 2000s, like uh, they, they used to write the program only on assembly language. Still lot of companies or they used to practice on assembly language for optimization. So, uh, so it has pick has very less number of instruction set, only thirty five instruction set which you could learn it very easily and you could write the code. And it can operate up to twenty megahertz frequency. The operating voltage should be between four point two and five point five volts, like the five volts power supply. Like uh, pick sixteen of eight seven seven eight does not have an internal oscillator. Okay. So the maximum current each port each port can supply is hundred milliamps. Okay. So uh, PIC sixteen of eight seven 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 has different has come with four different types of packaging. It is available in dual in line package forty pin DIP IC, 
and you also have 44 pin PLCC plastic lead chip carrier and 44 pin TQFP thin quad flat package and 44 pin quad flat uh, package okay QFN QFN package quad flat package uh, it has total number of 40 pins and out of this 40 pins like what we are going to see is a 40 pin dip IC and uh, in this 40 pins 33 pins can be used as GPIOs okay 33 pins can be used as GPIOs so that so this is the uh, introduction of pick very from the it's from a company called microchip and it has very less instruction set only 35 instructions that it has can operate up to 20 megahertz frequency what i'm talking about is pick 16 of 877a okay the operating voltage is 4.2 volts to 5.5 volts and pick 16 of 877a does not have an internal oscillator and the maximum current the port can have is about 100 milliamps okay and it is available in four uh, ic four different ic packaging like it, uh, it is available in 40 pin dip package dual in line package and plastic lead chip carrier 44 pin plastic lead chip carrier and 44 pin thin quad flat package and uh, 44 pin quad flat package qfn package okay so it has 40 pins out of 40 pins 33 pins can be used as general purpose input and general purpose output so coming to the features of pic it has 8 kb of flash program memory and 368 bytes of data memory and 256 EEPROM data memory and uh, 50 it could support 15 interrupt sources it has in circuit programming serial programming so that you could program a uh, serial program and three internal hardware timers it has hardware timers for capture compare and pwm for pwm modules it has eight channel unlock to digital eight channel unlock to digital converter and built-in use out for serial communication universal synchronous asynchronous receiver transmitter for serial communication it has five digital ports okay five digital input output ports of up to 22 lines okay. so coming to the uh, architecture pick architecture it uses the Harvard architecture like basically there are two types of architecture one is the one human architecture and the hardware architecture which we have covered up in the previous sessions i will give you a small recap in one human architecture the cpu is connected to the program memory and data memory via a same bus okay so it could either fetch program or it could either fetch data whereas in Harvard architecture the cpu has been connected to the program memory by a different bus and data memory with a different bus so since it is different it could have different bus width the program memory can have bus width of 12 bits 14 bit or 16 bit okay whereas the data memory can have 8 bit so it could simultaneously fetch program memory program data as well as the data data memory it could simultaneously fetch okay so it has separate program bus and data bus and can have different widths so that's the advantage of Harvard architecture pick uses the Harvard architecture and it uses the risk architecture okay so uh, coming to the pick families coming to the pick families like it has it has like a four family range like baseline that is the low range and the mid range the enhanced mid range and the advanced architecture okay the, these are the families like pick 10 series pick 12 series and pick 16 series we are going to see pick 16 series in that we are going to see enhanced mid range pick 16f triple x pick 16f 877 okay so uh, the f stands for the flash program memory c implies for example pick 16 c series c implies eprom program memory if it is a flash program memory flash is non full non volatile and it could be erased any times like eprom is also eprom is also non volatile but both are different like uh, the operation is different and uh, the structure is different the way the eprom stores and the flash stores is different okay and lf stands for low voltage operation pick 18 lf series okay so the program memory for baseline is 3 kb for mid range is 14 kb and for enhanced mid range is 28 kb and for advanced uh, range is 128 kb okay so for performance like uh, baseline is 5 million instruction per second whereas for mid range it is 5 million instruction per second whereas for enhanced mid range it has 8 million instruction per second and for advanced series it is 16 million instruction per second 
if you check the features you have additional features on mid range okay like uh, the mid range and the enhanced mid range if you check the mid range it has i squared c spa spa pwm uart and 10 bit adc okay whereas in 8051 it does not have an inbuilt spa or i squared c like uh, it has to be like uh, you have to, uh, there is no register for i squared c or spa but this mid range peak microcontrollers has i squared c and spa whereas the enhanced enhanced mid range has what are the things what are the things which is covered in mid range plus it have high performance and pwm with independent time space okay whereas the advanced peak series has control area networks usb ethernet lin uh, lin uh, canon lin or for uh, for automotive applications okay and pll pll to pll clock generation for uh, for to like to uh, which which could which could boost the clock source like uh, if the input clock source, clock source is 15 megahertz you could operate the processor at 50 megahertz by multiplying and by dividing this pll operations okay you could achieve the clock frequency whatever you want for the maximum uh, maximum uh, you could even though the, the input clock frequency is 50 megahertz you could operate the processor at the uh, maximum frequency by using this pll a phase lock loop so uh, these are the big families okay so coming to the CISC and risk so uh, CISC or complex injection set computers like most of the CPU, most of the CPUs or CISC like the, the Pentium 4 processor and the 8051 and 8086 or CISC uh, like whereas, uh, whereas uh, the uh, PIC is the RISC architecture, RISC and the Howard architecture. Okay, So uh, it has complex instruction set computers like many instructions, many addressing modes, it usually takes more than one internal clock cycles to execute. Uh, whereas for reduced instruction set computers like uh, uh, you have only few addressing modes and executes one instructions in one internal clock cycle okay so that's a, a risk architecture like pick pick comes with the risk architecture okay so what is different in pick so high performance it's a risk cpu with only 35 hours of instruction set Howard architecture and it supports pipeline instructions okay and large number of peripherals are inbuilt if you check 8051 like there is uh, when you compare with the 8051 like it has almost large number of instructions set on the pic architecture like the can uh, the ethernet the usb uh, the i squared c everything is there okay so this is the pin diagram pin diagram for pic 16f 877a and pic pic 18f 4550 so both are same i will explain you the pin details Okay, so MCLR stands for master clear and like uh, a master clear like uh, like uh, I have the uh, detailed explanations on the next upcoming slides for each and every pin. So uh, I just want to show like it has two VDD and uh, two VSS okay two supply voltage you have to give VDD and two ground voltage and uh, like uh, uh, it has ports like port a and uh, port e port a b uh, c d and e okay so totally five ports five ports uh, clock for oscillators okay it has t1 like t1 clock for timer and it supports multiplexed signals like it could be used for port a or it could be used for the channel for for ADC channel selection. ADC it has it supports eight channel ADC. It could be used as an ADC input. Okay, it has an on chip ADC. Whereas whereas in eight zero five one there is no on chip ADC. You have to interface the external ADC. Okay, PIC has an on chip ADC. So no need to go for an external ADC. And uh, uh, like it has like RX you uh, you are programming SDO like. I squared it supports I squared C. Okay, SCL and SDA pin is there. Pick 16 of 16 of series 16 of 877 supports I squared C. U what is there and uh, ports okay interrupts. So this is the internal block diagram. Internal block diagram of pick 16 of 8778. Uh, I have attached the data sheets on the learn portal. You could also get it from the internet. You just search for pick a so pick 16 of 8778 data sheet. Like on page seven, you will get the block diagram. Just get the block diagram. So you have five ports. Port A is only six pins. Okay. Port A is only six pins. Like A zero to A five. 
okay and it, this six pins like it is multiplex it could be used for the adc inputs adc channel selection also and T to clock is for timer for timer uh, clock okay uh, for timer uh, for timer pin like uh, capture pins and uh, rb uh, this is for rb0 to rb7 for port b this is port c port b is 8 bits port c is also uh, 8 pins and uh, port d is also 8 okay and port e is only 3 it also has multiplex like chip select read and write for memory okay it has internally it has power up timer oscillator start up timer power on reset watch talk timer is there brownout reset and in circuit debugger and low voltage programming in circuit debugger is for debugging purpose it's for debugging the purpose like you could come it could you could connect the emulator as and you could debug the processor uh, via the software and brownout brownout reset like if any voltage dropout occurs it resets the processor okay and power on reset like whenever you power on the microsoft micro processor microcontrollers it, it resets the processor that's power on reset and apart from this you have three timers timer zero timer one and timer two okay timer zero timer one and timer two and 10 bit unlock to digital converter 10 bit adc is there synchronous serial port is there SSP synchronous serial port and USART is there and uh, you have comparator as well as the voltage reference okay apart from this you have oscillator in reference and flash memory flash memory as well as the data memory okay so the program counter and the data bus okay so this is the internal block diagram of pic 16 of 8778 and uh, the first pin is master clear the first pin on the pin description is master clear so this master clear uh, like it resets the microcontroller okay it resets the microcontroller like whenever so you it whenever it, whenever you give load to this mclr pin so you have to give a circuit diagram like this okay so you put a 5 volt there is no uh, there is no reset here there is no reset as in 8051 8051 we have a reset pin okay here this mclr pin acts just like a reset you have to connect this pin to 5 volt so whenever you connect the pin to low voltage when you put a switch and if you press the switch it will reset the processor okay it will reset the processor so it is just used to uh, reset the processor uh, so by resetting the processor like it brings the uh, program back to the first line of the program okay so by default you have to provide 5 volt to this to this uh, pin so when you press this pin like when you press this uh, button like it will go low it connects zero like so it resets the processor so that's master clear it acts like a reset okay so the next is uh, the i just explained this uh, we have two pins 11 12 and 31 and 32 as vdd and vss so i i just put a basic explanation of what is vdd what is vss and vcc and vee so that it could be useful for you for or during the interviews like vcc is volt, voltage counter counter voltage counter to the counter okay so voltage counter to the drain vdd is voltage counter to the drain vdd voltage drain uh, drain source i think so this is bjt transistor and this is fed okay so ve is voltage which is counter to the emitter and voltage which is counter to the source so the positive supply voltage is vcc the negative supply supply voltage is ve and vss Okay, voltage supply to source, voltage connected to source, and voltage connected to the emitter. Okay, so VCC like it is voltage counter counter, voltage drain drain. I think voltage uh, source source. So uh, positive supply voltage VCC and VDD are the positive supply voltage, and negative supply voltage is VE and VSS. Okay, so VDD eleven and thirty two, it's VDD pins. You have to connect five volt there. 12 and 31 should be connected to the ground okay they should be connected to the zero potential they should be connected to the ground okay so crystal oscillator pin is 13 and 14 so so far we have caught up this first pin and the 11th and the 12th pin and 31 and 32 pin okay and the next is the uh, 13th and 14th pin the clock 1 and clock 0 input and the output okay oscillator 1 and oscillator 2 which is which which you have to connect the crystal oscillator so this is the this is the circuit 
where you have to connect the crystal oscillator like 10 megahertz or 12 megahertz okay so which which supplies which supplies the input to the micro this this is the this is just like in heart of this this is the heart of the microcontroller like you have to only if you provide the crystal source to the microcontroller like then it, it calculates the machine cycle and the insertion cycle based on this uh, based on the crystal frequency okay so this is the heart of the oscillator heart of the microcontroller the oscillator is the heart of the microcontroller so this is the oscillator input uh, clock in is the oscillator input whereas clock out is the oscillator output pin like this is the reference schematics which you have connect which you have to find and you have uh, the capacitors okay Usually, this capacitors will be 22 picofarad or like this, 22 picofarad or 18 picofarad or 10 micro, 10 picofarad like that. So, and the next is a port A. Okay, port A, like uh, PIC 16 of 87 has uh, PIC A has five I/O ports. Uh, total of 33 pins are used for I/O operations. Okay, so the port A coming to port A is six bit wide, and it is bidirectional. Okay, uh, it uses uh, the uh, the uh, the register like Tracer like Tracer could be used as a direction data direction registers. Okay, port A is also used for the analog inputs for ADC. So port A is from two to from two port A is from uh, totally six. Okay, two to seven. Two to seven is port A. A N zero, A N one, A N two, A N three. Uh, like uh, A N three uh, are the three like. Uh, it could be used for it could be used for the analog inputs okay and uh, this is for timer okay and an4 is for an4 is for I again for analog inputs so ra0 ra1 ra2 ra3 ra4 and ra5 so are the port a these are the port a pins okay by the it, it could be used as a bidirectional uh, like pin 2 okay so pin 3 pin 4 and pin 5 are like and pin 6 okay and pin 7 pin 7 is pin 7 is it could also ss stands for synchronous serial port so uh, or is port a port e, the next is port e. pin 8 and pin 9 and pin 10 is port e. port e has only three uh, three it's a it's only three it's only three bit port e is only th three pins okay port 8 pin 8 and 9 and 10 and it could be used for the multiplex functions is read and write and for chip select okay chip select for uh, for parallel slave port for it can uh, chip select okay so it's a 3 bit 3 bit y port e port c uh, so 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 for like we have caught up list uh, 1 to 7 we have caught up 8, 9 and 10 we have caught up, 11 and 12 we have caught up, 13 and 14 we have caught up, 13 and 14 and 31 and 32 we have caught up, okay. And next is port C, port C, port C is from 15 to 26, it's 8, 8 bit wide, okay, it consists of 8 pins, 15, 16, 17, 18 and 23, 24, 25, 26, okay. RC1, RC0, RC1, RC2, RC3, RC4, RC5, RC6 and RC7. It has multiplex functions like the same port can port uh, pin 25 and 26 is used as UART for transmitting and receiving. Okay. And uh, for SPA like for serial peripheral interface, for serial peripheral interface like SDA, SDO uh, is here like uh, and uh, SDA, SDA uh it also uses i squared and spa modes the same pin is also spa modes and pulse width modulation like um, the capture uh the ca capture compare is uh, the pin 17 pins okay so this is port c and port c like it's bidirectional like it the direction resistors are tr trust c like this we will be covering up on the next like the led blinking code and the LED blinking code and the um, UART code, like uh, which will be covering up the resistors in detail. The next is port D. Okay, port D, like we have uh, a pin 19, uh, 20, 21, 22, 27, 28, 29, 30. So all these pins are port D, like which is again bidirectional input as well as the output port. Uh, uh, 1920. Uh, so it is 8 bit wide okay it uses trust d trust d 
for the data direction registers. So port D is used as a data port. And uh, so if you check like, uh, uh, if you check the pin details, like we have caught up uh, port A, uh, port E we have uh, covered up, port C we have caught up, port C, okay, and port D. Port D like uh, from 18, from 19th and 20th, and 21, 22, and 27, and 28, and 29. Okay, 29 and 30. Yes, port D. Port D, and then we have port B. Okay, port D and port B. Port B, like from 33 to 40, pin 33 to 40, again it is 8 bit wide and bi directional. It uses stress B, stress B for data direction registers. So, we will be going in detail into the registers on the LED blinking code and the other codes, LCD codes, and like that. So, port B is for data transmission, like RB6 and RB7s can be used for in circuit debugging pins. Okay. RB0 can be used as external interrupt pin, and RB6 and RB7 can be used as in circuit debugging. In circuit debugging is for for hardware debug. You could con uh, debugging is for in circuit debugging means like you could connect the uh, you could connect the hardware as well as the you could connect the software and you could keep the breakpoints and watch points and you could stop the execution of the program at a particular point and then you could analyze the registers values and the memory values and you could check okay so that's the advantage of in circuit in circuit debugging okay so multi multifunctional pins so uh, like uh, uh, all ini initially initially it is better to it is better to use a pin with a single functionality but once you are familiar then you could use the multifunctional mode once you become like expert in programming like you could go for the multifunctional mode and uh, most of the pins uses the multi multi multifunctional uh, contains a multifunctional like it could be used as the digital input pin or a digital output pin or you could use you could use the same pin as UART or I2C it's same like LPC2148 and LPC4088 okay uh, so it uses it uses the multifunctional it uses the multifunctional uh, it's multiplexed uh, signals so you have to you, whatever the functions like you through program uh, you could switch o, you could switch between the different functionalities okay if you want to read the analog signal you could define it for analog purpose if you want to read as a digital input or output, then you could define it for digital read to, to read the digital input and output purpose. So all these are multifunctional pins. Okay. So coming to the features of PIC 16 of 8778, other than the GPIOs, other than the GPIOs, like uh, it has the unlock to digital on chip on chip unlock to digital converter module. Okay. So this feature was not in 8051. But it has A to D converter like unlock to digital converter module. We have it on ARM7. Uh, we have it on LPC2, LPC4088, and PIC also we have. Okay, you could get the PIC IC for uh, for uh, one 140 to 180 rupees like uh, PIC microcontroller. Whereas LPC4, LPC2148, you will be you will get the you will get the chip for 480 rupees, uh, 480 to 500 rupees like a single chip. LPC uh, LPC two one four eight, whereas LPC four zero double eight, it will be the cost will comes around eight hundred to nine eight hundred to nine hundred rupees. Okay, and it is a quad flat package which needs a soldering station to mount. So this, uh, if you if you want if you want, so you, the best option is to choose a pick sixteen of eight thousand seven hundred A series, which is also available in dip series. Okay, if you if for a beginner and if you want an on chip on chip ADC. Then the best option is to choose the PIC microcontroller. Okay, so it has uh, eight bit ADC module. So these are the pins from line from one to ten. From one to ten, uh, like it has eight channels. Okay, A N zero, A N one, A N two, A N three. Okay, A N three and uh, uh, A N uh, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so uh, two, three. Uh, Two, uh, two, three, four, five, and seven, eight, uh, nine, ten. So seven, eight, ten. These are the pins which you could use as a, uh, which could accept analog inputs. You could directly connect the analog temperature sensor to these pins, okay? And you could, uh, you could, uh, you could, you could get the acquisition. You could. It's a ten, the resolution will be, uh, resolution will be ten bit. The ADC resolution will be ten bit. 
has 8 bit adc module let me check the resolution of the adc uh, the adc resolution is 10 bits okay so uh, you could get it from the data sheets uh, mostly you could get it from the data sheets okay It will be available on the features itself. So the first thing, the first thing you have to do is to go through the data sheets. Okay. So the data sheet will give you the complete information. So 10 bit. So okay, here it is. 10 bit and 8 channel unlocked digital converter. Okay, the data sheet, the, the data sheet will give you the complete explain complete uh, like uh, features and complete peripherals like what are the peripherals and features and the uh, like uh, what are the pin details pin details and descriptions on various package this is uh, so this is a pdip package or a, a dip package or soic okay small outline integrator circuits and ssop package quad flat package uh, qfn package okay and uh, these are different packages okay so it will give you the uh, the device overview and the key features like what are the features it has what is the operating frequencies uh, flash program memory data memory e prom data memory interrupts how many interrupts it could support like 14 15, uh, versus pic 16 of 8778 so it is supports 15 interrupt sources whereas pic 16 of 8768a supports only 14 interrupts okay ports like io ports PIC 16 of 873A, we have port ABC. Uh, PIC 16 of 874A, we have ABCDE. Okay, whereas in PIC 16 of 877A, we have AB sports ABCD. Timers is 3, capture, compare and PWA models 2, uh, serial communications, uh, USART we have and uh, serial ports. Okay, uh, serial ports we have, uh, serial MSSP port, serial ports and uh, PSP parallel communication, 8 input channels. ADC module. Uh, these are the available packages, and uh, all these will be available. Like this is the block diagram, okay? Block diagram, and uh, like uh, you could. Uh, these are the pin descriptions in detail. So you have to go through the pin descriptions in detail here. Pin description. You have to go th each and every details of the pin. Like what it? What is the description? What is the pin name? And uh, what is the uh, what is the description? What is the description? Whether it is digital input or external interrupt? Okay. So once you go through the data sheets of eight zero five one, data sheets of PIC sixteen of eight seven seven A, data sheet of LPC two one four eight and LPC four zero double eight, like uh, you will be you will get more familiar, like the terminologies, and you will be more familiar like how it works and everything. So master clear inputs. Okay. The next feature is timers. It has three timers: timer zero, timer one, and timer two. Okay. Timer zero is eight bit timer, and timer one is sixteen bit, and timer two is eight bit. Okay. So timer zero and timer two is eight bit, and timer one is sixteen bit timer. It can also operate in both modes. If timer two, it is used with pulse width modulation. Okay. Capture capture comparator module, and uh, it could use like these are the pins like pins of the timers. And EEPROM, like it also has built in electrically erasable read only memory, which can be used to store data permanently even if the microcontroller is switched off. Okay. So, pulse width modulation, it supports pulse width modulation for especially for motor control, like for uh, to uh, to have the varying duty cycle, to have a very duty cycle, to it also provides two CCP modules, capture, compare, and PWM modules. We can easily generate two PWM signals with this microcontroller. Okay. The maximum resolution it supports is 10 bits. And new words for serial communication, like uh, it's a, it's a, it is used to communicate with other devices like other microcontrollers or other uh, PC uh, it, TTL logic. Okay, so the RC seven pin is transmitter on RX pin is the uh, RX pin number is twenty six and TX pin like which is uh, twenty five. 
RC7 and RC6. RC7 is RX pin and RC6 is TX pin. Okay. It's you what universal asynchronous receiver transmitter. I squared C communication like you have this 18th and 23th pin. SCL like RC3 and RC4. I uh, is SCL and SDA. Like you have the serial clock and the serial uh, data. Or I squared C communication. Interrupts it supports 15 types of interrupts. Okay, 15 types of interrupts. Like uh, like ex it could support external interrupts, interrupts from timer zero, interrupts from timer one, and uh, RB port change, and parallel slave port read or write operations, and AD analog to digital converter operations, and use or receive and use or transmit operations, on synchronous serial port, uh, SSP ports, synchronous serial ports, and capture compare uh, PWM uh, P1, CCP1 and CCP2 and TMR2. Uh, comparator E from right operation bus collision. So all this, uh, all this will can generate interrupts. Okay. So micro. So this comes from this microcontroller provides 15 types of interrupts. Interrupt sources are there. So you could map the priority. So comparator, it could it it has a comparator module which like it just like an uh, analog signal comparators in electronic circuits where you could use the uh, analog uh, like uh, the analog supply pins and the analog input pins like RA0, RA1, RA2, RA3. These are the analog uh, analog input pins where where you could use these analog input pins and you could compare compare the signals. Okay, compare the analog signals. So that is the advantage of this comparator. So like uh, this 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 comparator like it is not there in 8051. Like you could compare the analog signal uh, similar to the comparator in the electronic circuits. So uh, you could use the RA0, RA1, RA2, RA3. These are the analog input, analog pins, analog uh, input pins, which could apply, which could uh, accept analog input signals. Okay, which could accept analog input signals. So that's one advantage of PIC. Mm, watchdog timer, like uh, it has the WT is an on chip separate oscillator which runs freely. Okay. So it watchdog timer uh, like even if the device is in sleep mode will work. It will work even when the device is on sleep mode, and uh, it used to wake up the device from sleep mode. As well as any malfunction occurs, like it resets. And sleep mode like uh, PIC 16F 877A can also provide sleep mode operation. During this mode, like it could operate at very low power, okay, and it draws minimal amount of current. So you have to wake up from sleep mode from interrupts so those like timer one or interrupt or you want interrupt or e from right operations and many others. Okay, so pick or pick sixteen of seven also supports sleep mode. So this sleep mode can be used when when you operate from when you use the battery operated uh, power supply. So it has brownout detection like uh, whenever the whenever the significant significant drop in power supply voltage it resets the processors. Brownout reset, brownout detection, and brownout resets. So data memory, like data memory organization, like data memory partition, general purpose resistors. Like we have two bank, like RP bits, RP one or the bank select bits. Okay. So I'll show you the organ data data memory organization on the uh, uh, data sheet. So these are the memory organization, like. Uh, so it has multiple banks. Okay, which has which contains like uh, we have sub general purpose registers, special function registers like bits RP1 and RP0. We have to use this for uh, uh, on this for for selecting this uh, memory. Okay, so it is here. Okay, so these are the registers which is associated with the data memory. Flash, flash e, flash program read, okay, and writing to flash program memory, block writes, okay. So these are the registers. These are the registers like. Uh, which we will be covering up in detail on the next upcoming sessions like uh, port, uh, port A register, Tris A, Tris B, Tris C for direction registers and interrupt registers, timer registers, uh, ADC registers. Okay, So bank 0, bank 1 and bank 2 and bank 3 like uh, which has the address as well as the registers here and special functions registers 
okay so we'll be going much more detail in the next uh, in the upcoming sessions on the machine cycle like it has four cycles per instructions like um, this is the clock cycle like the instruction the it instruction like it supports uh, pipeline like um, pipelining like pipelining like instruction decode instruction fetch the instruction t1 it fetch the instruction then decode the instruction and t3 it execute the instruction t4 it stores the in instruction like four cycles per instructions okay four machine cycles per instructions like this is the uh, machine cycle calculation like if the clock frequency is 6.144 megahertz you, you have to divide the 6.144 megahertz divided by 4 hence one machine cycle is uh, is uh, is 4 divided by 1 is 0 0.61 0 0.651 microseconds if you use 6.144 megahertz okay so instruction cycle it's a time taken to complete an instruction okay all instructions in 16 fa are single 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 cycle single cycle instructions except the branching instructions they take two machine cycles the rest of the instruction cycle will take only one instruction cycles okay and different types like uh, uh, like different types of uh, pick microcontroller like needs different compilers like you have mplab xc 8c compiler and xc 16c compiler xc 32c compiler micro c compiler pick css compiler like i will give you the uh, link which you could download the evaluation version and it could install uh, on the tomorrow session so tomorrow session will be on uh, the embedded system design on embedded system design using the pick microcontroller and how to blink an led uh, using uh, 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 blink an led into uh, how to using pick microcontroller so with this i close the session and uh, thank you so much for your time thanks for coming uh, meet you on the next session tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you.